Come back. We're going to talk about how I saved the axe and uh, got a little more I got to do. So come on back. What's going on everybody? This is Patrick Mid-10 Outdoors. How is my outdoor crew doing? I hope this video is finding you well. So, remember this? <laughs> it was quite funky moldy on the handle from water. Um, so, basically, what did I do? Uh, don't worry, I'm not going to sling it towards my face. But uh, what did I do to clean up the handle? Basically, I took bleach and a spray bottle. I sprayed it, let it sit for a second, a few seconds. Then I took a fairly stiff but not abrasive brush and just scrubbed it real good and then rinsed it off of the water. Then I let the handle dry. I actually dried the handle. Um, it's got some places that it looks kind of funky. If you'll quit showing me. It looks kind of funky right in here, but it's not too bad. And I'm gonna, I'm going to, I don't know if I'm gonna put linseed oil back on it. I gotta look at what I've got. Um, the axe head is not as bad as I thought. Now there are some areas that look pretty bad on it, but right in here, and then there's another spot that was right here that was a little rusty. But I think what saved it from being as rusty is that I used ballastol on it. And I think the ballastol helped protect this thing for the most part. The last time I had it in here, I wiped it up, wiped it down real good with ballastol. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get some, I've got some uh, steel wool over there, some of the double alt or triple alt, whatever it is. It's the fine stuff. We're going to take a little bit of that magic ballast all again, and we're going to put it on the steel wool, and we're going to knock this rust off because it's all surface stuff. I can see. I mean, I can actually scrape it off with my fingernail, so we know it's not going to be hard to get off. But we're going to go over here, and we're going to put it on the bench, and we're going to set everything up, and we'll bring you back then and show you how I'm going to get it off. Okay, so I'm noticing a little bit of rust right there on the hilt of it. And right there is the worst. Um, like I said, it's superficial um, surface. So we're just going, like I said, take a little ballast all. We're going to rub it ever so lightly. And I bet it takes it off. Oh, yeah. Got a little bit right there. Or it's just dirt, one of the two. We'll give us a paper towel. We'll wipe that sucker down. And without my big head picking up on the camera, you can see it's pretty well gone. Now, I did not polish this up like this. My dad did many, 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 many years ago. So I just left it. I said, you know what? He did it for a reason. Why not? So I left it shiny. Um, thought about getting it sandblasted um, to a satin finish, but I didn't. I said, you know what, that's the way he wanted it. Who am I to argue with him? Well, like I said, just a little bit of that stuff, and I'm not rubbing this hard. It's taking darn near, well, it is taking it all off. So it looks like there's a little bit of rust up there on the uh, USA part. We Definitely want to get that off of there. Like so. And I'm not, like I said, I'm not rubbing this hard. Um, I saw some somewhere else too. I'll go over the whole thing a little bit. It's not going to hurt because we can get this, um, you know, ballastol down the metal of it. Like I said, I think that's what kept it from rusting all the way all over it is um, I had wiped it down real good with ballastol. I use this on all my guns and stuff. Matter of fact, I may even wipe this handle down with it. 
Um, I use it all the time on my, you know, pew pews. Sorry, did I say that word? Um, but see, lubricates, prevents, cleans, protects, preserves, blanks, leather, knives, wood, tools, marine, camping, and fishing equipment. So it is, uh, it is, uh, non, this is the non aerosol. I do have, let me see if I can find it, aerosol version that you can spray. But uh, I've been using this stuff for years um, and it's synthetic, so it's not going to hurt the environment. And you'll see what I've gotten off of this thing so far. Um, but I think I will. I'll go ahead and just take it like this. And before I put this, I'll let this soak up real good and everything and before I put it in my truck. But uh, wipe this handle real good. And you can see it actually shines it, shines it up real good. But um, I use, I've used ballast on all of my uh, carbon steel knives for years. And I know this axe is no different than those tools um let's see we got yeah we got all of it off it's all gone but i'm leaving a film on this so it won't rust um, because it will be in a leather sheath for the most part um behind the seat of the truck and you know it'll be well protected that's what i'm trying to say guys that is what I'm trying to say. I don't care to change the color of the handle um, from where those spots are. I think sometimes those spots uh, add character to it, to the old hatchet. So there it is. That's a true tamper. You can see it. That's a true that true tamper axe. All the rust is gone. Like I said, all this real hard stuff. My dad did that. Um, so I left it. Now, the only thing I have done to it since I've gotten it was sharpen it a little bit. Um, it was kind of on the dull side, but anyway, there well, we go. Before I go away, it doesn't hurt with these things. This is leather, so it doesn't hurt to take this ballast off and wipe this leather down, and it keeps it soft. Um, I've, like I said, I've used it for years on stuff, even the old leather holsters. So I'm going to put them away for a while and I've been wearing them a lot and they've got sweat on them and everything. I'll wipe them down with this stuff uh, to store them that way they don't, you know, mold and mildew or anything else for that matter. But it, it just it cleans the leather up. Matter of fact, look how dirty that leather was from just wiping it down with this stuff. But I have. I've used the ballast on everything of mine that uh, could rust or turn bad so anyway the axe is good to go i'll put it back in the truck no heart no no shoot no harm no foul now that we got the axe 100 percent it'll be going back in the truck or i say axe it's a hatchet um it'll be going back in the truck but this time it's going to stay on the cab um i'm keeping all my tools on the inside of the truck now just not worth it taking the chance of course i'm took care of our other problem we had that been another video all right guys appreciate you watching be prepared do all that thumbs up and all that other good stuff down at the bottom over here to the left and over to the right and whatever else see you on the next one